Hey guys, it is me, Happy Sorry Ken. Welcome back to Last in Earth Survival. So today we're going to talk about if this event is the best or the worst event in the game. And I am talking about this arena event because I think till this day, people cannot reach a general consensus if this is a good or a bad event. In my opinion, personally, I think it's one of the better events that we have in the game. I'd probably place it in like top five, maybe even top three events in the game. Kind of, maybe, but there are a lot of uh, uh, ifs. In this event so for example if you do not need purple blueprints then obviously this event is not for you if you've been playing this game only for like a month then probably this event is not for you because you need to have a lot of weapons in order to do this arena event but this event is also very special because it's one of the ways to get your tactical backpacks sadly here i cannot get this tactical backpack now because i am getting these silence packs so sometimes you do get six of these silence packs and when we go over here I kind of want to show you something. From these silence packs, you don't really get a tactical backpack. However, sometimes you can get those special forces packs. And you get three special forces packs, usually from that arena event. So by opening up those three special forces packs, you kind of have like a 50% chance of getting that tactical backpack. However, you don't always get it. And if you don't get that tactical backpack, you'll have to wait until another arena event to open up three more special forces packs. And then you'll get the guaranteed tactical backpack because the game saves the items that you've already opened up. So here, for example, for some reason, I've already opened up four items, so if I get now these three special forces packs, I'd be able to 100% get this tactical backpack. And just for the sake of education, I wouldn't really suggest doing that because for some reason, we don't really get coins here in the game. I wish game was giving us coins during like season passes or whatever for free to play players because it's kind of mind boggling why we don't really get coins. But just for the education, I want to show you what happens if we refresh that and boom, here now we can get these special forces packs. I'd say maybe more often than not, you get these special forces packs. So there you can get that tactical backpack. So if you want your tactical backpacks and if you need to get a couple of purple blueprints, also you don't only get purple blueprints, you also get four rare blueprints. So four blue blueprints, you'll also get 12 common blueprints. So this is a decent event if you have a decent amount of guns. It is very expensive, but some people don't like this event because maybe it is just too expensive for some people and that's a valid and that's a valid response. So what are your thoughts? Leave them in the comments down below. Do you like the arena event? Is it bad? Is it good? And we are going to be grinding now in our settlement. So welcome to all those that have just joined to the stream. Glad to see all over here. Welcome, welcome, chat. Hello, hello. And to those that are watching this live stream after it's over, uh, go to the pin comments down below. There you can find timestamps and you can navigate to your favorite parts of the live stream a bit quicker. And before we do anything else, before we go to the settlement, I actually want to make a poll here asking do you like the arena event and i think i'll keep that poll throughout the live stream do you like the arena event the uh the arena event yes yes i like it no i don't like it and uh 50 50 and i don't play ldoe There we go. Let's start the poll. We can participate, guys, in the poll. Let's have some fun. Let's have some chit chats and uh, let's get a couple of whatever they're called planks and let's dip out of here. Let's go to the settlement because it's fun to talk about the arena event. We are going to be clearing the arena event. So check out the pin comments after the live stream is over. Obviously, people are watching this live stream right now. It's like there are no pin comments. Yes, because this is live. We don't have the pin comments yet. Uh, let's get some charcoal. And there is our good old charcoal. Also, after that, uh, maybe we're uh, maybe we're gonna go to the swamp location because I wouldn't mind getting some ash logs as we are very close to upgrading one of the racks to level 11. There we go. We have 18 more of those, and we have now 20 ash blanks. So we still need 20 more. So there's that. Now let's fast travel to our other place here. What's good if you can have purple blueprints that you missed, but you can have duplicates. Yes, it's the worst part about the game. You get duplicate blueprints. However, there are no guaranteed ways of getting like guaranteed blueprints, right? Like nothing's going to give you any guaranteed blueprints. So I still think the arena event is one of the better way to get blueprints. Like if you've been playing this game for a couple of months and you have a lot of spare guns, then it's a decent event to get those blueprints. I still think it's kind of worth it. 
but it is very expensive. But purple blueprints are just like very expensive in general. Wait, I cannot get more daily rewards? What? Oh, we need to wait for one more hour and 40 minutes. So maybe at the end of the live stream there or something, if I don't forget, I'll be able to come back here and get the daily rewards. It was during one arena event that I got both AK grenade and the shotgun spread shed mods as now I have almost every mod. It's been months since I've done the event, says Joey. I mean, it makes sense if you've already done the event, if you have the blueprints, then obviously that event is definitely not worth it, 100%. But you got very lucky that you've gotten that AK grenade launcher and the shotgun spread shot mod. Uh, let's go up here. And let's try to fire up the forge. Events like the arena are good if you are ahead in the game and have a lot of weapons, but most of the time it's not worth it. Fair enough. And I agree with that statement. As I said, you're not going to be clearing this event if you've been playing this game for only a month. Maybe you can. But most likely not. Because it just takes a while to get enough guns. And there are a bunch of other things that you should do in the game before even doing that arena event. However, I am thinking about doing that arena event perhaps on the free-to-play account just to get that tactical backpack because I still don't have it. So the arena event might be a nice way for me to get that tactical backpack and I have a couple of spare guns. But I don't play that much in that free-to-play account. And I need those guns for the laboratory, so I'd rather invest those guns in the laboratory. However, the tactical backpack is very tempting. But sadly, we don't even get a guaranteed tactical backpack. It's only like, if, if I get those special forces packs, and even then I'll have, look, only a 50% chance of getting it. In any case, let's drop it here. And uh, let's go back to our main base, because there's nothing else for us to do at this settlement. We've done everything there is to do. Psych, is it worth it to clear the farm? Yes, you should absolutely clear the farm. It's one of the better locations for the beginners. It's easier than Bunker Alpha, and it does have decent loot. You can definitely get profit from that location. Profit basically on everything almost. It also gives sometimes copper or steel. It's, it's, it's a great and fast location. That's what I like. It's also very fast. It doesn't really take your time. It's not like you have to spend three hours clearing that place. It's very simple, especially if you know what you're doing. So make sure to check out the free-to-play playlist or everything you need to know video. Link is down in the description. So yeah, if you know what you're doing at the farm, then it can definitely be profitable and fast. You just get the loot, you dip out, and that's it. Okay, I do not have my ghillie suit, so we got to get another one. Let's go to equipment. And uh, let's get it from over here. Is it worth going anywhere outside your base? Is insane. That's a very good question. Welcome to the stream. And I'd probably say no, because in your base, you are safe. And if you're not losing resources, you're not losing resources. And if you don't go outside, you don't really know what kind of resources are out there. So that means you're always rich. So, yes, you shouldn't leave your base at all. You should constantly stay in your base and you will be rich. You, shouldn't, you can actually get very rich without leaving your base. Just every... Uh, actually, you need to level up to level 2. So you do have to sometimes leave the base to at least get to, to level 3 here. Because most of the time you get some sort of a gun, some sort of a weapon and... On the third level, you always get some sort of healing item. Sometimes probably bandages, sometimes first aid kits. So just keep getting those, the second and third level. Keep beating the second and third level of the season pass and you will actually get a lot of loot. Just wait for three more weeks, get the second and third level from the season pass and done. And then close the game and wait for another season and get another melee weapon and more bandages and more first aid kits. I'm obviously joking. Or am I? Uh, let's get the carrots, let's get a few hatchets, and let's roll. Am I too late? No, we just began. Nobody's too late. If you guys are here, it's not- uh, you're not too late. You can't be too late. Even if you join at the very last second to say goodbye when the live stream ends, you're still not too late. And the live stream always stays here, so you're never too late. It's like, what is the maximum real money you spend in your main account? Billions of dollars. I think I've already answered that question uh, during the previous live stream and the live stream before that. Billions and trillions of dollars. I took out a bunch of loans. I sold all the houses, all of my Lamborghinis, all of my Bugattis. I took a loan 
took out a loan and billions of dollars were spent in LDOE. Trillions of dollars. I'm actually living in a cardboard box. This is just all a green screen. And I'm not even a real person. I'm AI here. I'm working somewhere paying off my debts. Much like, smash, subscribe if you enjoyed the answer. If that's what you were searching for. Uh, where are the Glocks? Ladies and gentlemen, there we go. There are the weapons. Good couple of them. Could have taken maybe flare guns, but flare guns have been nerfed. They are, they are a bit bad. They are a bit bad now. They're bad. One of the events of the time. Yes, indeed. Which event are we talking about in the title? We are talking about the arena event. This event over here. I did put the... The poll. So that maybe people would know what I'm kind of talking about. But yeah, I am talking about the poll. It's like the day before yesterday, Nian was 900 health and yesterday dropped to 600 and today jumped back to 1200 health, I think. There's a glitch, don't you think the same? It's random. Sometimes you get better Nians that have 1200 health and they give more caramel apples and sometimes you get worse Nians. So there's that. It makes sense if you're an AI. No human will play LDRE for this long nonstop and still remain positive about it. Uh, thank you. That's actually the best comment I've ever heard, Wana. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm not even kidding. I'm glad that somebody noticed that, hey, I am positive towards LDOE. Because I think it's the first time when somebody said that I'm positive towards LDOE. Most of the time people will say, oh, Sykes complaining all the time. He's just complaining. <sighs> and I'm just there like, homie. Am I really complaining? And why am I on my chopper? Why am I not on my ATV? It's like, do you think Kefir should add birds? Yes. The, you can shoot down from the sky, yes. And get chicken or the meat, yes. There's a bird. You shoot down the bird and you get chicken. <laughs> Maybe for that reason. <laughs> we don't get good update. I mean, we do get the same meat from wolves and deer, so what am I talking about? We could we could be probably getting turkey meat by shooting down birds. So, I'm not surprised. You're welcome, Cyric. Thank you. Welcome to the stream once again. It's like, how to live in a cardboard house? Expla explanation required. If you're an AI, say something AI would say. Uh, I am not an AI. I'm not sent here to destroy the world. And... Uh, how do I live in a cardboard box? I mean, I live in a cardboard box. It's hard to imagine until you have to live in it. Can't explain. Um. It's like, do you have any tips for new players? Yes, make sure to- Make sure to check out everything you need to know about last and Earth's survival video. Link is down in the description. Those are the best. That That is actually a very nice starting point to LDOE. Kinda, maybe. I mean, it depends. Like, so the video maybe does have a bit... I mean, I don't think it has any, like, advanced tips and tricks. I usually try to focus on, like, absolute beginners. And if you've never played LDOE at all, then maybe that video will have some nonsense information. But if you've been playing this game for, like, at least a few days... If you have LDOE on your phone, you should watch that video. That's all I'm saying. It has a lot of very basic tips and tricks, but if you're not interested in LDOE and you'll just watch that video, maybe you won't really know anything because you won't even know what is Bunker Alpha. In any case, doesn't matter. Check out that video. It's buggers. It's very useful in my humble opinion. Might be a little bit biased, but I do believe it is useful. Yo, do you play LDOE 10 hours a day? No, I do not play LDOE 10 hours a day. Perhaps one day. Sometimes 20, sometimes 60. Says insane. What are we talking about? What 20, what 60? I want to know. Every time I'm in the swamp, I have that urge to talk about food. I was at the store today and I got two more avocados, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. The avocado journey continues. What do you do after you finish the chopper? Should I still keep clearing Bunker Alpha? You will be clearing Bunker Alpha uh, till the day you stop playing LDOE. 
So yes, you will be clearing Bunker Alpha, as that's how you get guns, but your next step is to finish this survivor's path, like do whatever the game wants you to do in the survivor's path, unlock the laboratory, and from the laboratory, you'll start unlocking the drone. Then unlock the drone and go to the transport hub. So that is gonna take you quite a while, but that should be your next step. Unlock, finishing that survivor's path and uh, unlocking the drone. So you start the game, you progress a little bit through the survivor's path, you unlock your chopper, you start clearing bunker alpha, like the, you need to learn how to clear bunker alpha efficiently. And uh, after you get the chopper, your next step is to finish that survivor's path and start working towards the laboratory. Then you get the drone, you assemble that drone, and then you start clearing the transport up and bunker alpha. The transport up isn't amazing. However, you should probably have some other goals. I mean, the transport up is pretty cool. I like the transport up, it's great. However, it's it's more difficult to explain why it's good because it has a, a wide variety of loot. Sometimes you get a stack of copper, sometimes you get nothing. So it's a hit and miss. It's a hit or a miss, but most of the time it's a hit. And even if it's a miss, you can still at least maybe kind of break even. But next time when you get a hit, it's... It's cool. So you do that, and then after you're kind of done with the transport up, your next goal should be probably your ATV, I guess. I mean, there's the boat, but the boat is useless-ish. Kinda. It's like, why do we get less ash blanks every tree? Like, two, why? Could increase the value of items received. It's a second, I have no idea. Welcome to the stream once again. I don't know. Uh, the answer to that question. I don't know why we're not getting more ash trees because my character is probably very inefficient. I have no idea why the dude is very inefficient and why we only get two ash trees. Uh, let's bring this katana back to the base. That's at least something. Is four times sight worth it? I mean, I guess it depends on the on the sight. I don't have any guns here with any sights besides my uh, Uzi, and it does have a four times sight. However, go to the description or type uh, in YouTube LDV Cyric mods, and there will be two videos, and you'll learn everything about it, everything about it, everything you need to know about the mods. Yo, Wana, thanks for the super chat. Welcome to the stream once again, for I don't know which time now. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, glad to see you here. Every time I see somebody in the chat, even though I've seen them uh, three times during the day, I'll still tell welcome. I still say welcome. So here's some change I had in my car. Matthew could never, says Wana. Thank you, Wana. Thank you, thank you for the super chat. Speaking of change in the car, I'm pretty sure it's the same in the US. When you go to the store, you have to uh, put in a coin in the cart, right? in a cart. You put in a coin in a cart in order to plug it and replug it, whatever, so the people put carts in the same spot. And I've already lost a few coins that way. Sometimes I'll just panic and I'll give away that coin to somebody. Here's some change I had in my car. Car. Matthew could never. Sometimes it'll get stuck. So I lost some coins from the car. I lost some change from the car. So thank you, Wana. <laughs> thank you for, for the support of the channel. Welcome to the stream once again. Why are you clearing the swamp? Why not? What am I gonna do? I like clearing the swamp. Why shouldn't I clear the swamp? The last crate I got from the lab was goop. Got a ghillie armor, but don't have access to the swamp. Yup, sometimes the transport up is goop. I agree. It's like, that's why I have a reusable coin. Uh, a reusable coin? I mean, I don't really use like a 50 cents coin or whatever. I know what you mean, there are like, whatever other coins, but I still lose those coins. Which store so I can visit and be rich? Like, those are most of the time plastic coins. But it's not like I have infinite amount of those plastic coins either. Well, in any case, it is what it is. 
Yo, Coldbud, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, hello. Triple H, welcome, welcome. Uh, did we get two stacks? Yes, we've definitely gotten two stacks of Ash Logs. We can probably skedaddle from here. It's like when my armor break, my froze for some time. Your froze for some time. Oof. This is so sad. Smash like, guys. Smash subscribe. If, uh, if you froze. If you are froze. Not like you are froze, but just like you are froze. Like it makes no sense. Smash like. All right. You still got merch, says Skullbud. I have... Uh, I don't really have any new merch. I have a new website. Psychstore.com. Something happened to the old one. I don't really talk about it. Somebody stole the domain, so if you go to that old Double website, be careful. Double like your super chat. Car thief. Double like your super chat. Car thief. Thanks, Matthew Spellman. Thank you for the super chat. Thank you for... 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 Uh, for being original and coming out with the take car joke. Thanks, Matthew. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. I'm kidding. Am I kidding, though? I'm not kidding. Thanks, Matthew. Thanks for the support. Sorry, psychstore.com is the only merch store. Any other merch store is not my merch store. Psychstore.com is the only store. Um, do we have any tips for the settlement items faster? No. Just grind in the settlement. It's not rocket science. It takes a lot of time. That's what I mean. So I could just betray me for $6. I'm kidding. I'm not, I, I didn't betray anybody. But $6 is $6. I'm kidding, though. I didn't betray anybody. Do you have any tips for farming settlement items? Oh, I've read that comment again. Why did I pick it twice? I have no idea. Let's drop those here. We have farmed in the swamp. That is good. I like that. We haven't cleared the settlement yet. The transport up. Have we cleared the transport up yesterday? I don't think so. It's been quite a while since we've done that transport up. What is the end goal of LDOE Cyric? To take over the world. To take over the world. Rule the... Rule the planet. Rule the zombies. I don't know. Psych! How to farm healing items mainly. First aid kit. Make sure to check out everything you need to know about last and Earth's survival video. Link is down in the description. But Psych, I watched that video 16 times. It doesn't answer my question. You don't farm mainly first aid kits. You farm grass and you get carrots and you cook carrots if you want to cook carrots. And... Uh, you also get grass and you transform that grass into bandages into pieces of cloth and then bandages that's it you don't really get first aid kits clear bunker alpha and maybe there you'll be able to get a couple of first aid kits but that's about it i raid today but i need metal cutter how do i get it you do not get a metal cutter metal cutter is not in the game metal cutter is not in the game i guess maybe let's move to the main topic of the game let's go to the arena Let's clear that arena and let's be done with it, and then we can go to the transport dub. What do you think about it, hey? Uh, let's get five of these. Do I have any VSSs? We should also have a few VSSs. Two, three, four, five, and let's get five Genesis weapons, and then we can skip that. I'll have a metal cutter. What are you talking about? You are lying. You don't have a metal cutter. I smell your lies from far away. That's it. We got everything. Legion gents, we got everything. What's your arena level now? What's my arena level now? What? Very confused uh, on that question. Arena doesn't have any levels. Got everything. Two 
two stacks of bandages, first aid kits, whatever, more than enough. We don't really need another set of, uh, set of armor, but I'll probably get it. Because why not? I'll drop it if I don't need it. I do have a metal cutter. I used to cut Matthew's bike, and now he's dreaming of a car. Excuse me. I don't know what's going on with, with, with the beef there in the chat. But it is what it is. Let's get a stack of carrot stews and let's dip out, ladies and gents. Let's do the arena event. Do you really need that many for the arena? You probably don't need all of them. I'll have a few weapons spare. However, you don't even have these good weapons. Like, if you don't have the AKs, the VSSs, and other guns, you will have to use, like, about 21 Glocks, 21 unmodded Glocks. So, yes, you do need a lot of weapons for it. It is a very expensive event, yes. It is a very expensive event. And BA Bunny, thanks for the super chat. Can we please have W on his live stream? It's Mikey YouTube says B BA Bunny. BA Bunny, welcome to the live stream. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel. And you're just in time for the arena. We're going to clear it, and we'll get loot. We share a car, no beef. Okay. Will you do a free-to-play live stream tomorrow? I don't know. It's like, what's your opinion on two cents being two cents? Uh, cool. I have an opinion about it, yes. Uh, one of the opinions of the time. Uh, let's start this event, ladies and gentlemen, and let's do probably... Yeah, let's do it fully. So the tips and tricks that I have about the arena, don't let those zombies touch you. Keep running around, and also don't touch the walls, because every time you touch the walls, they kind of get... get stutter... Uh, they stutter. They... maybe kind of get stunned or whatever. Check this out. I'm going to touch this wall again, perhaps up here, and you'll see. Nope, doesn't work. Doesn't work. Well, sometimes when you touch the wall... The, there we go, the dude stuttered again. And whenever they stutter, they spawn zombies. Except this is the first wave, so they don't really spawn zombies on the first wave. Also, if they attack you, they will also spawn zombies. Except not now, because this is the first wave. But later on, every time they attack you, every time you touch the walls, they will spawn zombies. So just keep running around. And everything should be fine. How do you get rich at level 25? Uh, make sure to check out everything you need to know about LDOE video. Link is in the description. So as I said, it is a very expensive event. Whoops. And there the dude attacked me. And we still haven't gotten any new zombies because apparently it's just a second wave or something. In any case, it's an expensive event. And to a lot of players, it's not going to be worth it. As I said, if this event is not worth it, you should be clearing Bunker Alpha. Everybody should be clearing Bunker Alpha. But hey, once you have a few chests of guns then this event becomes actually worth it, especially if you don't have your tactical backpack. Famous last words. I don't know what I said, but I agree. Even those who don't play should clear Bunker Alpha. This is insane. I 100% agree. I couldn't have said better myself. Yes. Yes, guys. Yes. You should definitely be clearing Bunker Alpha, even if you don't play LDOE. The arena event is only worth it, in my opinion, is because... Uh, where else are you going to get purple blueprints? I mean, you do have to use, let's say, 20 unmodded blocks for this event. That's a lot of unmodded blocks. You could have used them on the... 
on the police department on those arenas. It's all about the arenas, isn't it? You can use those 20 blocks on the arena. However, you're not going to get purple blueprints by that, but you will get other items. And you're probably not going to profit if you don't use grenade launchers. So, I don't know. Overall, if you need a tactical backpack, I think this event is okay. Decent. One of the better events that we have in the game. Because it does have some awesome rewards. But it's just very expensive. Imagine one day the devs removed Bunker Alpha. Uh, wouldn't be surprised, ladies and gentlemen. Now, to access Bunker Alpha, you have to have premium. There we go. What if they did that, ladies and gentlemen? What if you had to buy premium Bunker Alpha Pass to enter it? You might be like, how long does it last? That's the first question that you guys have. Not like, you're not being outraged. And the first question you got is like, for how long it'll last? It'll last for one time. You just get a key for each floor. To access Bunker Alpha, it's like, let's say 299 to go to the third floor of Bunker, to the second floor of Bunker Alpha, let's say it's 399 and the third floor is like 499. The fourth floor, however, is 599, but you shouldn't even clear it. That'd be in line with LDOE. With current LDOE, you pay for something that you don't need. There we go. I'm telling you guys, I got ideas. Don't give them any more financial advice, please. <laughs> you can't stop me. You can't stop me. I think that would be a nice... Wait. You should guys get used to... Paying for Bunker Alpha. There we go. Their new slogan. LDOE. Get used to paying. Get used to paying for Bunker Alpha. There we go. That would be my new slogan. If I become C I want to say CEA. If I become the CEO of LDOE, that's the first change I'm introducing. You have to pay for Bunker Alpha. Get used to paying for Bunker Alpha. I did arena today and got purple zip gun blueprint. Hell yeah, congratulations on that purple zip gun blueprint. I mean, you did get perhaps a couple of nice blue and common mods, unless uh, you already had all of them. Why even wear armor? Billy can't touch you. I think you just answered your own question. Just read that thing slowly. If he can't touch you, so why does it matter if I wear the armor or not? If he can't touch me, he's not gonna damage my armor. So it doesn't matter if I wear it or not. I'm a little bit confused with that statement. When he does touch, it's nice to have some armor. And also shoes make you a little bit faster. So I'm very confused on that statement. However, welcome to the stream. I didn't get any good common nor blue mods. That's sad. That is sad. I don't see a lot of people being happy with this event. Maybe it's a goop event after all. I don't know. I don't think it's goop. I definitely believe we have worse events. I definitely believe this event has a, it has a place. Maybe it could be a bit better. How do you feel about Lode dogs? I think you meant LDOE. But LDOE dogs also love your vids. They help me a lot. Thanks for watching the videos. I'm glad you found those videos useful. And what do I think about LDOE dogs? Uh, they're not as epic as IRL dogs. That's about it. IRL dogs are buggers. LDOE dogs are useless. That's about it. That's my opinion. Let Billy touch you once so you can justify wearing the armor. Yes. Polling endgame players on mid-game event is tricky. Kinda, maybe. But hey, Justin, welcome to the stream. It's just a random poll. It doesn't mean that I need that information from the poll or not. It's just a something fun. Extremely fun, extremely hilarious, right? That poll is very fun. You look at that poll and that's entertainment, right? <laughs> the poll is pure entertainment. 
How do I beat Gnarly Billy? I don't have either VSS or Raider armor? Question mark? I do really like that. I felt the throbbing telepathic. Hello, thank you. I did send it. Thank you for hearing it. Thank you for feeling it. What about this chat screams and game players? It says insane. That's also valid. Had the same thought, but I mean, I can't say it out loud. Dude, put your sprint skill, please. Don't worry. Don't worry about it, homie. We don't need sprint skills. It's a challenge. Everybody can do this event with a sprint skill. What do you need a sprint skill? I don't want a sprint skill. Only losers have sprint skills. Let's go. I don't understand how a cast iron with shoes runs. What? I mean, cast iron can only run when it's in liquid state. That's how you make... Uh, cast iron pans, cast iron pipes, I guess. That's how can it run. But if we're not talking about the same thing, welcome to the stream. Smash the like button on the video. Make sure to clear Bud Alpha. Make sure to check out everything you need to know about it. I'll do a video. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, uh, on X Twitter. Use spears. I've done that already on the stream. We don't need to do it again. Let's say we've never done that. Shh, don't let him know. If they say that I've done that, I've done that off camera. There we go. I killed all of those bosses off camera with just my fists, not with spears. I've also done it with spears. And fists. It's like, is rest up really worth it? Because every time I go there, I get at least one, three guns. So, is it really worth it or not? What do you think? Is it worth it or not? Cyric, is rest stuff really worth it? Every time I go there, I get three guns. I use nothing and I get three guns. So, is it really worth it? Yes. It is worth it. It's like I can do this event with one hand tied behind his head. <laughs> like this? Yes. Probably. Could I do it with one hand? Playing LDE with just one hand. Challenge. Unbelievable. Uh, results. Smash like, smash subscribe. I think the rest ups are worth it. The rest ups are worth it. It's one of the best events in the game. It's one of the events for sure. I'm trying to make an unrateable base, but I need so many saplings. The You are not rated by real players. You are rated by AI, so AI will move through your unmovable objects. My base was once raided through the garage or something like that. I've seen some people not build level 3 walls, but instead protect their base with a garage. Maybe some of you can confirm or deny. Can you protect your base with the garage wall? Does it work? Doesn't it work? I've seen some people say that it doesn't work. Some people say that it does work. So it's tricky. Also... You can place a bench, let's say, if you place a bench. But through that bench, you can access to another room. Sometimes raiders will be able to go through that bench without destroying the bench and they'll access another room. I did one year ago, it worked. So the garage might actually work. I don't know. Garage works, saplings, horse feeders all work. Nice. I mean, how many horse feeders you can even build? I knew that before people used to build a lot of horse feeders. And you can chop down those horse feeders, don't you? And you can only have four horse feeders, actually. It works in Rust. It does work in Rust. Maybe they did fix it. I do know at some point it didn't work. I would pay 299 pounds to clear the bunker alpha without having to go there. Just like to auto clear. There we go. That that wouldn't be fair. You would get a lot of loot for 299. For 299 in LDO, you can only get. What can you get in LDO for 299? Nothing. You can get five scrap medals. What do you mean for 299? For 299, auto clear bunker alpha and get all the loot. <laughs> you must be dreaming. That would be actually a good deal. If for 299 you could get all the loot from bunker alpha, that's like what seven guns. 
plus bunch of other loot, bunch of armor for like 299, that'd be an insane deal. It's like, what's your opinion on two cents being two cents? I've literally answered your question. I'm a little bit disappointed. Would you ask the same thing again? By a little bit, I mean quite a lot. Also, random season events rewards work, like the wall and desk. Oh, maybe they do work. Maybe that stuff does work. Maybe it does work. Then maybe you don't even need bunch of level four walls. Just think about it. You build a garage that's already three walls that you don't need to build. Add some of those seasonal items, like the desks and whatever, decorations. Right? You add some decorations. That's three more walls, maybe even more walls. You can build a room just with decorations. You just add a door. Or maybe don't even add a door. You can just move the items around. Can you protect your base with decorations? And that's it. Would that work? Avocado beanbag, uh, well, water pump, desk, glowing bears. I'll need to test it out. Perhaps I will... Maybe I will do a chest. Uh, I will put a chest outside and I'll protect it with just like decorations. But it depends which decorations. Not all decorations will work. In any case, doesn't matter. Won't bother. Let's go back inside. It does work, but if people keep spreading it, it'll get fixed. I hope it gets fixed. Also, the Bunker Alpha grenade trick. I also hope it gets fixed. I'm kidding, obviously. Am I kidding, though? I'm not kidding. I'm kidding. What's your opinion on oxygen? It's pretty cool. People are addicted to oxygen, though. Speaking of building, we can only build floors and walls, but what about the roof? There is the roof. When you click on the building mode in the top left corner, there's the eye icon or the roof icon. Click on it and you'll see the roof. So when you build the floors, the materials are also taken into account for the roof. Oxygen is overrated. It's like, nah, homie, that's, that, that's an L take. How can oxygen be overrated? Oxygen and copium, deadly combo. Perhaps. Much like my subscribe if you like oxygen. Why is this Lucy like keep attacking me? Why does she keep attacking me? Whoops. I got hit in the face. No, we cannot stop them. We have to build these metal walls uh, to stop them from breaking through. Says, uh, I'm not going to say that name because it'll trigger some of your Google assistants. Okay, let's get this. How's your day been? My day's going great, Wardy. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully your day's going great as well. I always have junk outside and I don't get raided inside my base. Very, very rarely you get raided inside. You don't feel it with good junk. You can feel it with good junk, perhaps. Maybe. Cleared arena five times today. Nothing too good, says Retro. <laughs> it do be like that. It do be like that. Rage mode. What rage mode? I never rage.
I guess if you rage, you'll die faster. Right? Stress and other stuff kills you, so... I don't rage. If I rage, I only rage off camera. Because anything that happens off camera, everything that happens off camera is not real anyways. What level even is this Lucy Luck? Is this level 5 Lucy Luck? Is this level 4 Lucy Luck? I have no idea. And there we go, all of them are dead. Boggers. But this is going great thanks to my girlfriend's birthday today, so we've been celebrating. Uh, happy birthday to your girlfriend. Uh, poggers, happy celebrations. And we are gonna celebrate now. Oh no, we're not done yet. I thought we were done. We're gonna celebrate by opening up purple boxes. Purple crates, but we're not done yet. We still gotta grind. Best place for the saplings is to make the base unraidable, maybe. Perhaps. It's like thoughts on the settlement. My thoughts on the settlement. There are thoughts. I have thoughts on the settlement. You should progress a little bit through the settlement. Just beat the survivor's path and that's it. Don't progress probably any further. Unless you want to progress further, then hey, progress further. But finish the survivor's path and that's about it. And you'll be able to keep getting those daily rewards. If you want to progress more, you can progress more. But I highly advise to progress through that survivor's path at least. So is arena worth it if I'm free to play and I still don't have a tactical backpack, says Marek. It depends how many guns you got and for how long you've been playing this game. And how long you've been playing this game for. If you've been playing it for, like, I don't know, a month, maybe you don't have enough guns. But if you have a few chests of guns, and guns are not a problem for you. Like, you play this game quite often, and you don't really care about guns, then you should clear this event, probably. You will, you might get a tactical backpack, depends if you have the special forces packs or not. But if guns are a problem for you, and you're like, damn, I don't want to use my 20 guns on this event, then probably don't do it. Probably it's not worth it. That's about it. And there we go, we are done, ladies and gentlemen. We are done. Whew. Let's get the loot. Whoops, that's the wrong event. Let's go here and let's take all of the rewards. So check this out. Now we're gonna get a guaranteed tactical backpack. So we've got it in the Glock. And we're gonna get this guaranteed tactical back by boom. Just for this, maybe kind of the arena was worth it, maybe. Not really. You don't always get it, though. Wait, we can open up one more chest. And we've gotten another tactical backpack. There we go, we've gotten two tactical backpacks <laughs> from this event. And we've also gotten a few files with rare blueprints. There we go, we've gotten this epic laser sight for the bow. The ergonomic handle and this drum magazine. For the M16 plus we've gotten some other mods and let's open up another one of those things we've gotten this AK tactical stock the another ergonomic handle for the saw blade mace and the drum magazine for the Uzi and plus bunch of other mods here that I'm showing and that's about it was it worth it whether or not it depends as I said in this game you don't really get guaranteed blueprints you only get random blueprints and it's a nice way to get a bunch of random blueprints at once so it all depends. If you got guns and you don't care about guns, then it's worth it. If you don't have guns, if you have like 10 guns and all you do is just clear every place with spears and you're shaking when you think, when you just think of the arena event, when you just think of wasting like 20 guns for the arena event, then you shouldn't probably clear this place. However, if you see guns like as resources, if you're like, dude, I got a lot of guns. I got five chests of guns. I can get more if I wanted to, if I just cleared Bunker Alpha, then yeah, this event is probably for you. 
Open infinite packs. We do have a lot of infinite packs, and we should probably open them. I guess let's start opening up those infinite packs. Let's clutter our inbox even more. Can you use the knife of the AK-47 for one time on any zombie? I can't decide which mod should I do, the bomb or the knife. I think the knife one is a bit stronger. The, the AK grenade launcher mod is... Uh, Takes a lot of durability. Every time you use that grenade launcher mod, it takes a lot of durability. I also don't really use the knife mod anyways. You'll end up probably using neither of those mods. How do you even attach a laser sight on a bow? It's his official team. I have no idea. Unless you got like maybe the compound bow when you can draw the bow to the same length all the time. Maybe kind of then you can have a laser sight. I don't know. I'm not a bow expert. I know nothing about bows. Psych, you know nothing about nothing. Okay. Fair enough. I know about Bunker Alpha. I know you get loot from Bunker Alpha. Recycle the Dragunovs, perhaps that's what we're gonna do. Is helicopter out yet, says Kamsa. No, it's not out yet. Kamsa goes back under a rock. <laughs> Puts on the blanket and goes back to sleep. I've done the landmine strat on police zombie waves. Thanks for the video. I got the bike skin for doing that, says Hafi. Uh, Hafi. Sorry for butchering the name, and congrats on your bike skin, and congrats on doing those 99 waves. You've gotten an insane amount of loot. That's poggers. At least you can get weapons from those infinite packs. Yes, indeed. If you think about it, we are all under a rock because Earth is a big rock. Okay. But we are on a rock. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We have finally opened up all of those infinite packs. And from the last crate, we've gotten one more Dragunov. We've gotten two more Dragunovs. Do I really want to recycle them, though? That's what I'm thinking about. Do I really want to recycle them now? We could just save them. Maybe I've reached the point where I don't want to recycle them anymore. Because I don't even know if I'll get any good blueprints. However, I can recycle them. Still maybe better content than just storing them at the base. Yeah, I'll probably just recycle them. I'm not going to use them anyways. So I might as well just recycle them and have more space. I don't have space in the base to store those Dragunovs. So, ladies and gentlemen, I wish I could store them here, but I don't have enough space, so... Sadly, I will have to delete that. Do it for the chat, I will do it for the chat. Yes, homie. So, you guys wanted me to recycle those Dragunovs. Personally, I wouldn't want to recycle them, but you forced me into recycling them, so... I will recycle them. If you got a problem with that, don't blame me. Blame yourselves. There we go. And let's recycle one. Nothing! Let's recycle another one. Nothing, ladies and gentlemen. Smash like, smash subscribe. That was epic content. Uh, two seconds worth of content. And we got 20 springs and two factory parts. Hell yeah. Smash like, smash subscribe. For more... Dragunov recycling content. <sighs> so, hey, arena is done. We haven't done a raid today yet. We have to do a raid. We always have to do a raid. I also want to go to the transport hub. So we'll see. We're gonna skip this. We're gonna skip this. We need to clear the third floor and uh, find two engines. Okay, two engines are easy. Let's quickly clear the third floor. Right. And then let's go for a raid and then let's clear the transport hub. You want nothing. Yeah, yes, indeed. I didn't condone that, psych. Don't pin the blame on me for the content, says Copper Tuna. I don't make the rules. I was forced into recycling those two Dragunovs. I didn't want to do it. 
but I was forced. Sun and Moon about. I haven't even done that Sun and Moon about. Oh lord. Yeah, let's probably go to the Sun and Moon about. Do we go to the Sun and Moon about? Maybe let's do the rain first. Maybe that Sun and Moon about is not reset yet. The Moon and Sun event is battle circle. I use one minigun and then I has everyone death. Very nice comment. Welcome to the stream. I'm thinking about making an Instagram group about LD. There are probably like an insane amount of groups already about LDE. There are a bunch of Facebook groups, bunch of all other groups. I'm not lost right now. The choice paralysis is real. Like, do I go to the... Do I do a raid? Do I do the sun abode? Or do I... Do I just stand here in the base and think about what I should do and I shouldn't do? Oh, Lord. Whatever, I'm gonna get a few melee weapons. Do raid, says Matthew. We should do a raid. However, we should also progress in those other things. So we are gonna do a raid. Who said the sun abode? It was Matthew who said sun abode. And then now Matthew says do raid. It's too late, Matthew. So... Everybody thank Matthew for not, uh, for me not doing a raid. Thanks, Matthew. Thank you, Matthew. You're the best. Here we got this loot. I got a little bit of armor. Perhaps we're going to get more. We got to get some. Some dude mentioned miniguns. Let's get the miniguns, right? Let's get them. Let's get those miniguns. And uh, let's get another set of armor and let's dip out of here. It was that caterpillar joke, wasn't it? Wait, do I even remember the caterpillar joke? I'm not gonna remember it. It's so good that I cannot even remember it. I literally don't know the caterpillar joke anymore. In any case, it was very funny. <laughs> even when, when I just think about the caterpillars, like, <laughs> that's funny. Like something caterpillar, what did this thing say to the caterpillar? And it said butterfly and connection lost. Okay. Why is connection lost? Are we still live? We are live, ladies and gentlemen. The frames dropped zero. So luckily everything's fine. The sun abode refreshes in 24 minutes. Too late, I've refreshed it now. Let's go back here. Let's try to cook. Do we need to cook rice? We'll cook it once we are back. Here we go. Let's go here. Let's drink some water. Actually, I drank most uh, all of the cup. I was kind of thirsty. <sighs> Tech, please make a tutorial on how to clear the settlement. Thanks for the for the idea, Saturn. Maybe we will do this. Perhaps one day I'll make a tutorial on how to clear the settlement. Whenever I hear caterpillar, I think about the human centipede. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. Uh, let's deal with these things. And let's deal with the... With the zombies. It's like, open yellow cards of the PD for us. Open yellow cards of the PD. Uh, what yellow cards? They, there are no yellow cards at the police department. I got pretty lost. You said yellow cards and I thought about bunker alpha cards. But the PD, I have no idea what we're talking about. In any case, it is what it is. Okay, the dude is going to attack me. However, I'm going to go here to avoid it. He means the brown cards. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure he meant brown cards. It doesn't mean that I can't make fun of it. Let's get this and let's loot the chest, ladies and gentlemen. Useless. No grenade launchers inside of that box. Some of you have found that red gas cylinder for the ATV. I still haven't seen it during this event. Is it even real? I don't know. 
Maybe you just lied to me. Maybe it's not actually even possible to get it. Wait, my doggo is still with me. So last time I fed that doggo, right? During the last live stream, I gave them like two stacks of uh, turkey or something. And it lasted till this time. Sick. So after we are done with the sun abode, we're gonna clear the moon abode. And after that, I don't know, I haven't been at the transport hub for like two days. I'm shaking a little bit. I need to get my daily dosage of the transport hub, but also we haven't done a raid. I wouldn't say I'm shaking for a raid. I'm mostly doing raids because I know you guys like them. But personally, I've done here so many raids that it doesn't really matter. If we were... If we were getting great raids all the time, then perhaps that'd be better. But like 90% of the raids are bad, so I mean like, okay. The excitement for the raids is pretty low. However, ladies and gentlemen, for the for the clout. I mean I have to be a real YouTuber. Guys, I cannot wait to do another raid! I'm super excited to raid another base. So smash like, smash subscribe if you are excited for another raid as well. That's my favorite thing to do in life is raiding bases in Last and Earth Survival. Smash like, smash subscribe if you also find the raiding bases enjoyable. They're my favorites and I cannot wait to do another raid today. Like very excited. My toes are wiggling right now. I'm jumping from happiness. In my head obviously because I'm sitting now on the chair but I'm jumping from happiness. Amazing. Very happy. <laughs> Rated the entire player base twice. <laughs> this is insane. Probably. Is it better to open captain cards or to wait to craft purple one? I think the chat can help you out with that one. I'm not sure what's the captain card and what's whatever, what's crafting. I'll just like pass it on to to the chat, ladies and gentlemen. I'm passing on the question to, to the chat. And I am done with this place. Let's get out of here. Let's activate the moon abode. Cyric, please use helicopter instead of chopper for traveling, says question mark. Okay. I do not have a helicopter. I cannot use it for traveling. And it's sad that this event is going to disappear very soon already. Like, there are only six days left. Excuse me. There's the lunar event in Brawl Stars right now. Wait, I'm going to open Brawl Stars. I want to know what's up. How long does the lunar event last in Brawl Stars? Does it only last for like three days as well? I don't even know if we get anything useful from the Lunar Brawl Stars event. It also lasted only for a week. You could get free... Free rewards, the free things. This is smash like, smash subscribe. For Brawl Stars content. Sidecard, is there gonna be Brawl Stars content? No. There won't be any Brawl Stars content. I just have it for the memes, I don't play Brawl Stars. Don't I play Brawl Stars? I have it on my phone. Maybe I do play it. No, I don't play Brawl Stars. Just have it. Game inside of a game. Yes, indeed. Let's talk to... Wait, before we talk to this guy, let's drop these 13 kumquats. It's like, plays Brawl Stars. No, I do not play Brawl Stars. Just have it. This one and this one. There we go. Let's cook some more rice.
How many trophies are you? I have no idea. As I said, I don't play Brawl Stars. I have maybe like three trophies, maybe four trophies. Just Gamer, thanks for the super chat. I wasn't sure what's going on. Thanks for the super chat, Just Gamer. Wow, I got here and I heard raid. Welcome to the stream, Just Gamer. There might be a raid. Maybe there will be a raid. Perhaps. Always 8% of players who don't play LDOE in the poll. Yes. The number needs to go up. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, I think we're done. Let's activate the moon abode. It's like part time farmer, full time farmer. Uh, maybe we'll do the arena event as well, like this arena event. There are so many arenas. The police department arena, the arena event from the calendar events, and the arena event here. <laughs> um, we are done with this place. Let's get out of here. Level 26, I ain't finishing this event in time, says Retro, probably. Do be like, you need to cook a lot of rice. I think you haven't cooked all the rice. But it is quite ridiculous. How's everyone getting gas cylinders in this event? I can't get them, lol. The game doesn't like me, says Wardy. I haven't gotten a single gas cylinder here either. So there's that. Okay, I haven't used this saw blade mason. These terracotta zombies. Will they die? No, they don't. No, they do not die. With one shot. Do you want to go clear the real e arena event? I've already cleared the real arena event just like 15 minutes ago, 20 minutes ago, half an hour ago. I don't know. Time is relative. Is time relative? Time is relative. Time is definitely relative, yes. Absolutely. Okay. The engine didn't work at all. I really enjoy your Days Gone videos, says MKK. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoy those Days Gone videos. Perhaps we'll find another epic game like Days Gone and we'll play it. We'll play through that game. Today, for some reason, I remembered about Dying Light. So, would I like to replay Dying Light 1? I don't know. I've been playing... Yeah, I've played Dying Light 1 quite a lot. And I've played through it maybe twice or thrice. I've also seen a Let's Play on it, so I don't know if we'll be replaying Dying Light 1. I don't know. But it's a poggers game. I grow seeds 24-7 in Cook Rice. I just think there aren't enough seeds available. Says Retro. Okay. I think I got too many seeds. I log in only once a day though, and I cook only a couple of seeds. So I get too many seeds. Do you stream or record story mode games? Yes, we just spoke about Days Gone. We've played a lot of story games. Live streamed and, uh, I mean, mostly recorded. We've played through all the Resident Evil games, mostly, most of them. We've played through Days Gone. Dying Light 1 and 2 through the DLCs, Dying Lights, Dying Light DLCs. We've played, played Dead Island 1, Dead Island 2. I want to see Dying Light 1. I mean, we've played Dying Light 1 recently-ish, like a few years ago, but we have played it. Project Zomboid is the need of this hour. Maybe I will play some more Project Zomboid one day. Yeah. <laughs> 
I saw Sayak streaming and told my two-year-old to go and find something to do for the next five hours, says Rudy. Okay. Hopefully locked uh, locked the your two-year-old alone in the apartment without any supervision. <laughs> you locked yourself in the toilet to have some peace and the toddler will take care of the house. Smart <laughs> dad of the year. <laughs> Welcome to the stream, Rudy. Glad to see you here. Dinner's on you, buddy. Toddler's like... What do toddlers sound like? I'm pretty sure a two-year-old can speak. Oh no, I'm stuck here. Unbelievable. Did you know there was a drone in Heli in Seven Days to Die? Yes. I've played a decent amount of Seven Days to Die off camera in the past, like, week maybe or not. I don't know. A decent amount, like, a couple of hours, but it's a decent amount for me. So I'd like to do some day Seven Days to Die content. But I doubt I'll ever do it. Load the bag. Let's launch these fireworks. Let's soak in the damage. Because I'm a unit. That's why I soak in the damage. There's one more box that I haven't looted yet. How do I always miss it? You are not 26. You are begin 40. What does that even mean? What do? What does it mean I begin 40? Excuse me? You are not 26, Cyric. You are begin 40. <laughs> what does that mean? Give me strength. We have a decent amount of ladders to enter this room in any case let's go up here why don't you do seven days to die every sunday stream or video uh, why do that when i can do every sunday also ldoe If you have a zombie apocalypse, would be your choice of melee and vehicle. Excuse me. I don't know. A fork. It's very versatile. You can use the fork to eat. And you can use the fork to fight. And vehicle, feet. I can run on feet. Okay, we have to go and wall trick the Neon. Only 600 health, Neon! Disgusting. Because if we don't wall trick Neon, that means bad Cyric. If we wall trick Neon, it's good Cyric. Okay, there's another dude next to me. Okay, there we go. There's There goes the wall trick out the door. With that stupid other terracotta zombie. Okay, we're gonna deal with that zombie first. I'm gonna soak in all the damage. Okay. Why did you move, schmuck? Okay. And of course, I stood in the wrong spot again. Beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. So, bad Cyric, kinda. The only good thing about 600 health Neon is nothing. There are no good things about it. You can kill it faster, but it's useless. It gives only like one or two caramel apples, I guess. 
When you can get six from 1200 health in the end. There we go. We've gotten only one caramel apple here. That's disgusting. Disappointment is immeasurable. Alright, let's do Pata here. Uh, let's go to the... I don't know where we're gonna go, actually. Oh, back to the hidden garden. That's where we're gonna go. Will the game be as relevant if Waltrick got removed? Is the game relevant? And now with the Waltrick? Am I missing something? Dog needs a treat. Will the doggo eat rice? Hmm. That's a question. And there we go. I cannot store everything here. Disappointment is immeasurable. There's so much rice that we need to cook. But I just can't do it. Caramel apples are not that good. What do you mean? In the game or IRL? I haven't tried IRL apples. Caramel apples. I don't see how a caramel apple would be good IRL because an apple is already very sweet. I don't need to add more sugar on apples. I guess it depends on apples. Maybe if apple is bitter or something. Sour. Maybe not bitter. But like, yeah. In any case, I haven't tried caramel apples, so I can't really speak on that. Only level 19. Yep. What level you're at... If you're a free-to-play player here at the at the Sage's Reputation event thing here, the the Lunar event, it's like I'm level 150. I can read. No, I'm talking about the Sage's Reputation, ladies and gentlemen. Here at the Lunar New Year event, what level you're at? If you're free to play, but you're free to play. I mean, if you haven't uh, auto cleared the zone or whatever, it's like I'm free to play, but I auto clear the zone without auto clearing in anything. Just cooking carrots. Can you imagine some other psychic in some other universe might also be streaming? I'd be curious to see that what he is streaming though. So level 25, 20, 18, 18 and a half, 25, 23, 26, cooking all the rice except today. Okay, so the average, let's say, the max I've seen is level 25, 27, 26. So let's say around 25, and I'm level 19, so I should have been a lot further. And if some of you are at level 25, and we have only six more days left, I don't know if that'll be possible to reach level 45. I don't know. Maybe. Interesting. Whatever. Let's get more, uh, more seeds. I can't even do it anymore because it's not reset yet. Okay. Understandable. Have a nice day. We're going to bring those seeds to the base. I can't believe I'm doing this. But I'm bringing them back to the base. They don't fit there anyways. The timer should be 12 hours instead of 24 hours. Yeah, the rice should cook a lot faster. Can you cook them at the base? Oof, that's a good one. I don't think so. I don't think we can cook that stuff at the base. If you can, that'd be awesome, but I doubt it. Nope. You can place it, but it doesn't allow you to cook. It's just a campfire. You can't really cook rice here, sadly. It is what it is. Collect settlements, daily loot. I don't think it's reset yet. But I don't think I'm pretty sure it's not reset yet. Where can I... 
door or whatever in this chest. It makes no sense, but I'll remember it. Either the transport hub or a raid. To do a raid, we'll have to go and clear the third floor. Or we just go and do the transport hub. Obviously a raid. What am I even talking about, right? Let's craft 21st aid kits. Is prison ever coming back to last dinner? I have no idea. What do you do besides streaming? I eat food. I like water. It's like there's a cool game called Last Dinner. You should play it. I'll definitely check it out. Thanks for the suggestion. Um, what am I doing here? I'm stuck. In a loop, somebody said, okay, we need the, to clear the third floor. We're going to the hub. I don't know where we're going. Actually, I haven't decided yet. Either bunker alpha and then a raid or the transport hub. I'd like to clear the transport hub. Maybe let's clear the transport up, and if we have the time, I'll just skip that task and we'll do a raid. The brain. So I skip the task now and do a raid. No, 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 homie, it doesn't work like that. Homie, you're dreaming. Okay, let's get a few machetes. Three machetes, two of these. Actually, two machetes and two of these is enough. Uh, two of these guns. And we need like a few basic guns as well. A spread shot, an Uzi, an M16. It's more than enough. Let's get another set of armor. First aid kids are here. And I need to get a few bandages. Maybe I got too many first aid kits. Okay, let's drop a stack of first aid kits. That should be more than enough. And that's it, I'm ready. Let's just uh, modify the weapons. Let's roll, homies. Let's clear the transport up, and if we have enough time, we'll do a raid. It's like, do you know it cooks? It takes one coin to cook rice. Does it take one coin, or does it take more than one coin? If it's one coin, then maybe we'll be able to skip it. Maybe. We could. If it's just one coin, if it's not like 10, 12 coin, 20 coin, I don't know, I didn't check. Let's go. One coin. Okay, so then maybe we'll be able to skip it. Maybe we can skip cook a bunch of rice. We all know he can't do both as he has to cook eggs. I mean, it depends how fast we'll clear the transport up. If we clear the transport up and if we have enough time, then we'll just skip the third floor bunk Ralph and we will do a raid. The drone has left the chat. You couldn't have said that before. You waited. You waited. No raids today for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. I'm disgusted, disappointed. You waited until I came to the transport up to say that comment. Drone has left the chat. Thank you. Thank you. That's rude. That's quite cruel. 
Oh, I said it and I see it up there in the chat. Don't forget the drone says Chimmai Shen Goda. I'm sorry I didn't see that comment before. I apologize. I do apologize. Man got excited when he heard about the skip button. Extremely excited. Toes are wiggling and jumping from happiness. Smash like, smash subscribe if you're also jumping from happiness. And let's get the drone. And now let's dip out. I can't believe I've forgotten that drone. I'm sorry I was writing my comment at that time. Okay. Okay. I do be like that. You're forgiven, guys. It's all right. Let's go now to the transport hub. Thanks for not ignoring us, says Wana. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome. Billy the drone also jumps from happiness, right? I hope so. He said the D word. What word? What word did they say? The drone? What D word? I'm confused right now. I don't know any D words. Starsnap is getting married in case you don't know, Cyric. Thanks for letting me know. It's amazing. I wish Starsnap best of luck. I wish him happiness. That's very poggers. Oh, the depends words. The, the D word is depends. I didn't even know that in any case. It depends. It depends, hey. Did you see that? We've done 93 damage. With the sneak attack, even though the dude was already attacking us. Kind of cool. He's getting married, so of course he's not going to be happy. Nah, that's just boomer mentality. In my opinion. And I grew up on watching uh, Married with Children. I like that TV show. It was pretty fun. But that is pretty much boomer mentality. But it is what it is. Uh, let's... <laughs> let's deal with a floater bloater. And yes, all of the zombies are going to attack us at the same time. Thanks, game. Very cool. get a shotgun we're gonna get this uzi it's like is your wedding gonna be lde themed i saw your comment the first time i thought you'll just let it go but apparently you spammed it for the second time and yes my wedding will be lde themed i'm very i'm very excited for my lde themed wedding i'll be marrying billy the drone very excited. A big one cake would go crazy. Absolutely. That that is my dream, ladies and gentlemen. I've spent six years of my life playing last day on earth. I lost all of my brain cells and 
luckily all of that was worth it because I'll have a last dinner themed wedding and I'll get the big one cake. Insane. I'm very happy. Very happy as you can tell. I made it, ladies and gentlemen. I'll have the big one cake. Sykes marriage will have berry tea and carrot stew for party, yes. <laughs> That'll be themed wedding. God damn it. With berry tea. <laughs> Arrives at the ceremony with a heli. Hell yeah. Obviously, during the wedding, I'll make sure to live stream some last dinner content. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll do a couple of raids. So don't worry about that. There will be still content. Even on the wedding day, we'll raid a base. First new flip flops flap at two uh, slap at two X. Okay. I didn't know you can listen to it at two X. Do you eat jackfruit? Yes, it's my favorite. I don't know what that is. I just say that it's my favorite. That way people will be like, hmm, the dude has a sophisticated taste palette. scan the cargo well this is the ATV crate cargo not the CYF crate it's like how can I get a girlfriend I don't want to be alone no more says water bottle the more last on earth you play the higher the chances that you'll find a significant other so make sure to continue playing last on earth Put all of your effort into last day on earth. Drop out of school. Don't go to college. Don't go to university or whatever the institution you have there in your country. Don't get a higher degree. Just focus all of your strength into becoming a last day on earth YouTuber. Put all of your eggs in one basket. It's all about becoming last day on earth YouTuber. And then you'll get a girlfriend in no time. Yeah, let's get the acid melter. First was medical advice, <laughs> then financial advice, and now life. Not life and love. Don't forget about that. I did that already and I'm still lonely. Well, it do be like that. Sometimes the tips and tricks tips and tricks don't work. Oh my god, the stupid! I still- I survived. I thought it'll kill that explosive zombie, but then my character at the last second switched the target and I was like, dude. But we survived and the stupid carton of milk, I'm gonna die here. Of course, I'm already dead, I can't even... Stop pushing. There you go, we survived. Three ride zombies. You know what's worse than two ride zombies? Three ride zombies. Dude, this will take forever. And the dude picked up the shield. Like, do I even have to bother? Do I even bother killing them? They're so stupid. I legit don't want to fight them. I'm going to open up this door. I know what I'll do. I'll get this. I'll get my... 
one of those. I'm not gonna fight them. They're st too stupid. I can't. I can't handle it anymore. Let's open the door. Let's get this zombie. Let's lead it outside. But I think we can run back and uh, open up the chest. Nothing useful here. Whoops. As I said, I'm not killing them. I'll we'll just re-enter this location. It'll be faster. All of this looping around was faster than re-entering the location. How long does it take to have the true friend dog? I have no idea. Depends on your luck. You can date someone from the community bed. There's a lady there, says the doc. Oh, Lord. <laughs> yes. If you can't find a date, then you can date somebody from the community event. Hell yeah. Let's go around here and let's deal with the other part of the transport hub. I think we shouldn't be even clearing that left side of the transport hub where we can get those drone parts. It's a stupid place to clear. It doesn't have anything useful. But it is what it is. I guess. It is what it is. What are the chances of getting chopper handles in red tickets? Trying for three years. That's a line. My character is stuck. And we dropped zero frames, so it's not the internet's fault. I don't know whose fault is that. Yo, T-Rex. Welcome to the stream. Thanks for the super chat. Welcome with another knock-knock joke. Welcome, welcome, T-Rex. It do be lagging. It do be lagging. The game does freeze, however, the live stream is not lagging. We've dropped zero frames this time, so everything should be fine. Everything should be awesome. Say so once again, T-Rex, thanks for the super chat. I mean, maybe I should have played the joke, the knock knock, who's there? Oh, there we go. We've gotten another super chat from T-Rex. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Noble, says T-Rex. Noble who? <laughs> Noble who? Wait, we don't need to deal with anybody here. Excuse me, sir. It's kind of boggers. No, the toxic darter. Unbelievable. Let's deal with the toxic darter. We're going to destroy all these parasites. We're going to deal with more. Oh, we don't have any more carrions here. That's interesting. Where are those carrions then? Steel bar and some of those. Okay, plus the katana. So, yeah, T-Rex, thanks for the super chat. So, who, Noble who? So, first of all, knock knock. Who's there? Noble. Noble who? I need to play the knock knock jokes.
have I looted? Yes, I've looted that crate already. I haven't been here yet, though. Does anybody have a travel starting Mulan's challenge after refreshing with rations? It tells me to ring the gong, but it won't give me the option to when I go there, says Ryan. Oh, that's interesting. No, Bell. That's why I'm knocking, says T-Rex. Ha 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 ha! I get it, because no, Bell, like name no, Bell, and also no... No bell. The door has no bell, so that's why he's knocking on the door because there is no bell. Ha ha ha! I'm wheezing, ladies and gentlemen, right now. I can't breathe. This is the funniest thing I've ever heard, but hey, old jokes aside here. <laughs> Thanks for supporting the channel. Welcome to the stream, homie. Welcome, welcome. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day. Let's load the box. When you have to explain the joke, it's not funny anymore. I hate when people say that. Maybe hate again is, is a strong word, but I don't like when people say that. It's part of the joke. Explaining the joke is part of the experience. So yeah, once again, T-Rex, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the epic knock-knock jokes. this A huge W T-Rex says Robert absolutely W guys and then I'm gonna get a gun have space there we go now we've gotten a little bit of space we can delete the rope thank you i'm glad that this uh midshipman gave me this alpha card thank you thank you developers thank you wish i could write them a handwritten letter and send them thank you with this screenshot that this midshipman gave me this alpha card thank you very much and there's that one dude actually sorry you can recycle these alpha cards and get plastics shut up and sit down nobody asked your opinion nobody wants to talk to you all right nobody likes you that's why your mom doesn't love you all right let's get that all and we'll be like cyric there's no way people like that don't exist they do exist they do exist I've gotten comments like that in my free-to-play videos. On the free-to-play video, I said, like, hey, probably don't pick up those cards as they're worthless, blah, blah, blah. And somebody said, like, actually, they're very good. You can recycle them. They're, and I'm just like, like, wow. So people like that, they do exist. Because if they wouldn't, I wouldn't be talking about them. Recycled alpha cards. Yes. Somebody did say that in the chat just right now, recycle alpha cars, but I'm just gonna assume that they're just joking. Let's get this. I'll probably get the drone and one of the Genesis weapons.
Oh, the butcher. The dude just appeared out of nowhere. I'm gonna shoot that guy. I did bring these Genesis weapons, so I'm gonna use those Genesis weapons on the guy. You see? Guys, the drone is very useful. The drone is absolutely amazing. The drone is phenomenal. Look at all the damage that the drone is doing. Oh, it's doing 35 damage, actually. We go and keep shooting it. We're gonna get the drone again. Actually, the dude will go to heal now once, so I'll probably have to go and let him heal. Sometimes he heals twice. There we go. The dude's just gonna go and heal now. Dear Kefir, I wrote you, but you still ain't calling. Exactly. Still didn't add that helicopter that I talked about. I was standing outside of your office in the cold, but you just ignored me. Yo, T-Rex. <laughs> T-Rex, thanks for the super title. Okay, let's do a better one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Also, there's no way you can top the previous joke. Uh, T-Rex, thanks for another super chat. Can Eve, so who's there? Can Eve? Can Eve who? Okay, the dude is going to drop. Go and keep shooting it. Don't, don't fly around me. Just shoot the boss. What a stupid drone. It's like drones are amazing. Look at it. It's just following it and wasting its battery. Thanks, developers, for such an amazing addition. I can literally see you have put a lot of work into this. And a lot of thoughts in this drone. Thank you very much. Game of the year. Very great interactions. Fluid controls. Amazing graphics. Immaculate sound design. And AI of your helpers, of your drones, your doggos is just phenomenal. Next level. Okay, let's spawn another drone. So, T Rex, thanks for the super chat. Knock, knock, who's there? Can Eve, says T Rex. Can Eve, who? What if I just drop the grenade here? Okay. Just dropped a nothing. <laughs> Things drone. Cyric! There's again another dude yelling in the chat somewhere. Cyric, you're doing it wrong! You're doing it wrong, Cyric! Alright, at least you're doing it right. Okay? At least you are doing it right. Congratulations. You know how to use your drone on the butcher. Make sure to write that on your CV. And that's it, we did it. We destroyed the boss. <sighs> hey, I might have lost my last few bra brain cells, but I haven't lost my motivation. So hey, let's keep opening up these uh, containers. When the devs add something, they think, okay, team, how can we make this game worse than it was? And how can we disappoint more uh, our loyal community? Just, they delete the game so we can give up. Says, why not? Yes. Also, they're fast to buff the miner. They're fast to buff some other, like... They're fast to nerf the loot. But they'll never fix the drone. They won't make the drone more usable, because who cares about the drone? Like, you don't get the drone for its usability. You get the drone for the... For the bragging rights, because you got the drone. Okay, I think this... Thing is also useless, as we don't even get anything inside of this crate. 
Yeah, this crate is useless. Probably when you see those pumpkin heads, just leave them. So, ladies and gents, it's time for us to open up a crate. Right? Whoops. We need to see what crates we can open up. So, the arm crate is bad, this crate is bad, and we have this classified crate. So, from... Out of all of these crates, this first crate is the best! Maybe we're gonna open up this first aid crate. Perhaps. We could open up this crate just to play around. Maybe we'll get this ATV transmission for the memes, but I doubt it. This arm crate is pretty bad. Like, it says that, hey, you'll get... You, you might get guns, but last time I've gotten only two guns. So, it's actually a pretty bad crate. Arm crate is pretty bad. Is it the crate that I'm talking about? Yeah, I think I'm talking about the arm crate. Yeah, yeah, the BPD crate that you get here is pretty good. The arm crate is bad. But this classified crate might actually be a bit better. Out of all of these crates, probably the classified crate is the best, kind of. But if you need ATV transmissions, then this crate is obviously the best. Knock, knock, joke. Ruined YouTube isn't letting me pay us to your... Hey, no worries, mate. You've already supported the channel here, right? You're already sending a lot of super chats. It's all great, mate. No worries. Hopefully, I didn't steal your dinner there. Just type it in the chat. Just let us know the knock, knock, joke with the... Uh, who's the can Eve... And why can Eve is knocking at my door? Open all of them. Paul, maybe it's time for the poll. I mean, the current poll that we had going about the arena event. 34% uh, of people like the event. 35% of people think that it's a 50-50 event. 23% of people don't like the event. And 8% of people don't play LDW at all. There we go. There's, these are the results. So let's stop the poll. And... Uh, uh, let's create another poll. Let's see what you guys want me to open. Uh, what crate to open uh, first, second, third, and fourth. So let's see what crate you'll want me to open. All right, almost unanimously, people are voting for the fourth crate. Not really almost unanimously, 50% of you are voting for the fourth crate, so. And the rest are getting like 20, 12, whatever percent, so. There's that. Do a poll, but choose something else, says Rudy. <laughs> <laughs> that does sound like me. That does sound like something Happy Cyric would do. Nine hundred votes and only three hundred watching. Lol says Eugene. <laughs> yeah, it's not like people can join the stream. They can vote and they can leave and whatever. Nah, nah. Everybody is just here. You open the live stream and you can. You have to stay throughout the entire live stream. You cannot leave. Good job, Eugene. You can see that you are a true last in Earth player. So most of you are voting for the fourth crate. But do I want to open up the fourth crate? You wanted me to open up the fourth crate? I'll open up the fourth crate. Let's unload it. I really wanted to open up the first crate. I was like this close to opening up the first crate. But hey, let's open up this crate and let's see what kind of rewards we can get here. We have gotten two guns and one of those uh, slashers. This was a bad crate. <sighs> Used and abused. I got totally used and abused. This was a scam crate. Should have opened up the first crate. Actually, I would have been more happy by opening up the first crate. I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding. I'm totally not even kidding. I regret not opening up the first crate. The first crate would have been better. It would have slapped a lot harder than this crate. However, I do use however quite often now, for some reason. We are getting to get blamed. It's fine, guys. You're, I'm always blaming you anyways. It's nothing new. So transport up. Is it worth it? I don't know. 
Is it? <sighs> Let's get rid of this. Okay, anti-red pills just disappeared for some reason. I don't get it what happened. If you guys know what happened there, please let me know. Because I'm a little bit confused. However, raid or it depends. I guess it depends how fast I'll bring the loot back to the base. Perhaps, maybe. Need to go to the settlement, need to restart the rice, need to cook the rice. So, I don't know if there will be a raid. You guys told me to open up a goop crate. And then you forgot to remind me to bring the drone. How can I do a raid? Why don't you use the VIP chest? Because I don't care about the VIP chest. I told you not to listen to Paul says Rudy. Yeah, I should not have listened to it. I got scammed. The settlement loot awaits. Yes, we also got to go to the settlement and get the loot there. Gotta get the daily loot. Why would you need a raid anyways? I can get better loot from the daily rewards at the settlement. However, guys, I'm very sad that I cannot do a raid today. I'm very sad, like, very disappointed. I'm kind of crying. Never been sadder in my entire life. Very sad. Psych, do a raid, please. Psyrag, do a raid. Psych does a raid. People see the name on the screen. Psych, don't raid. This base is trash. Excuse me, sir. In any case, you guys are still epic. Right. <laughs> right. Let's uh, drop the bandages. Yo, Jayla, welcome to the stream. And thanks for gifting five memberships. Our members army is growing. Maybe that video of... Maybe the cooking video with Cyric is actually going to come out one day. Thanks, Jayla. Thanks for five gifted members. Congrats to Pepe, Camilo, Ahmed, Igbenlagend, and Fam. Congrats for getting the memberships and huge shout out to Jayla. Thanks for supporting the channel, Jayla. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. What's poppin', says Jayla. Well, we've just done one of the the most epic transport hub runs. So the cooking with Sire would be members exclusive video for those who don't get it. Maybe. Can't promise anything anyways. I don't like promises. Uh, we gotta drop the book. Do a food video food video. If there will be a food video ever, it'll be probably just for members only. I'm not going to post anything on the channel non LDOE related or like gaming related or whatever. Nobody really cares about the food that I eat. And I also don't want to post, I also don't want to share with the world what foods I eat and whatever I do because I got nothing interesting to show anyways. Or actually I have very a lot of things to share and a lot of things to show and the world doesn't deserve to know my info about the food so only members will learn about the foods and whatever else but again I can't promise anything uh, the drone I haven't charged the drone can I just charge it nope I need to go back to that table to charge it play cooking simulator on stream i think there was uh there is a new restaurant simulator or whatever the game is called right there's a game like that 
I'm very excited to play more simulators. The gas station simulator, then we have the cooking simulator. Do I need more charcoal even? I'll get it. Let's go to the settlement. Let's replenish some of the workbenches. Going to the supermarket simulator. Yes, indeed. Cleaning the house simulator. Instead of doing it IRL, you can do it in a game. Favorite gym question, what's your bench? I don't bench. I only started benching a few months ago. So it doesn't really matter. Once I reach 225, once I can bench to 25, then I'll be flexing with benches and other stuff. For now, there's nothing to flex about. Okay, let's drop that here. I forgot to get the charcoal. I wanted to get it, but I did not get it. Well, that's fine. I do have some charcoal here. The rice ain't gonna skip itself. We are gonna get to the rice. We are definitely gonna go and touch the rice. I bench 360 says LDOE Pro, very nice. Very poggers. And I haven't gotten the daily rewards yet. The contraband simulator game was awesome. I remember you kept saying cocainum instead of cocaine. Yeah, there's the meme with the with Arnold where he says cocainum. I like that meme. It was poggers. Yo, Jayla! Are you nuts? Thanks for five more gifted members. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, congrats, Kavilhuli, Kshit, Nada, Farzin, and uh, TV. Congrats, and massive shout out to Jayla. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the support on the channel. Heck, soon we'll have more members than viewers. Hell yeah. That's the goal. And now, we got rice to skip. If, is it even possible to skip rice? Was I bamboozled? Let's get a bunch of these... Stems. It does take a while to grow. Oh, we can even grow it for one coin. We're gonna skip all of it just now. Okay, perhaps. Okay, let's use the ads to skip it. Okay. I mean, I don't really suggest doing that to anybody, but it is what it is. It's either that or nothing, right? Cooking video right now. I mean, we are cooking <laughs> here right now in the game. All right, that's not what you meant. We have gotten a decent amount of rice. There we go. 
This is so psychic. Perhaps it's food. Yes. I can confirm. Cooking rice skip simulator. Yep. The only reason why I can skip that rice is because the devs sent the coins. If it were my coins, there is no way I'd probably be skipping that stuff because it's too expensive. I think I have to mention that. Okay, we have more... Rice. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful. Look at all the bowls of rice! And look at how many levels we're gonna get. Now we're at level 19, we'll get to about level 20. Okay, we have gotten to level 24 by cooking all of that rice. Thanks for the rewards. Skip all the seeds and see what level you're at. Okay, let's skip all the seeds. Let's try to skip all the seeds. We're talking about foods. I'm also checking, do I have any more food pictures? I mean, I don't think I have any more food pictures or pictures that I haven't shown yet. Yeah, I have no more food pictures. And even if I have the food pictures, they're staying on the phone. In any case, let's skip all of that. Dude, it'll take us quite a while to grow all of these seeds, correct? Why don't you post on Instagram, says Angry Capybara. Um, that's probably a good question. I don't really know what to post on Instagram. Like, I have nothing to post on Instagram, really. There is, There are quite a lot of you on Instagram. How many people do we have on Instagram right now? 5k? Uh, 4,899. We're almost at 5k. So if you're not following on Instagram, make sure to follow on Instagram. Road to 5k followers on Insta. But last post, oh my goodness, it was from this, uh, from October 19th, 2021. Felt like I posted just like a year ago, but it's been like three years already. I don't even know if people that are following on Instagram are still alive even. Hell yeah. I mean, it's not really hell yeah. In any case, let's, let's get the let's get the rice bowls. Let's say those are all the rice bowls. I only was able to get extra stack of rice. Okay, I'm pretty sure I have more rice though here, unless I've already taken it. I'm pretty sure I haven't though. Unless I have taken it. There we go. There are 40 more seeds. Which I'll just keep growing manually instead of probably skipping all of them. All right. Let's just let that stuff grow. There are other fields. Okay. So apparently, guys, you want me to skip all of that. Oh, Lord. Could have done a raid instead of wandering around here. But it's too late. Like people have probably died, but hell yes, is wordy. No, that's not what I wanted to say. Mistake was made. Don't be embarrassed by your cooking. I'm not embarrassed by my cooking. Just most of the time, it's one-sided conversation. Like I'll show the foods, and people will say like, "Oh, sorry, it's it's bad. The food looks bad," and I'm just like, "Why do you mean food looks bad?" What is good food? I don't feel like arguing over the food. All of them, that is it. We've wasted this AK, the silenced AK. We'll never be able to financially recover from that. Now let's open up this and let's get more. Yo, T-Rex, T-Rex is back. Thanks for the super chat. 
Red Matt wants more knock knock jokes. Knock knock, who's there? And T Rex sent another super chat. It says owls. Owls who? Owls who? Thanks, T Rex. Thanks for the support of the channel. And we are gonna grow more rice. Okay, let's try to skip all of that. Oh my goodness, we have more seeds. All of the coins wasted. Do what, Jinxie? I have no idea what that is. So probably not. So yeah, once again, T-Rex, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the knock-knock jokes. And we have to now grow this rice. Cook it, cook it, I mean. Let's keep cooking it. Yes, they do, says t -Rex. I didn't even get it. Owl, who? You said owls, who? And yes, they do. Owls, indeed, who? I get it. It's a fun, actually, joke. I didn't think about it. That's buggers. T-Rex, thanks for the super chat. Thanks for teaching us something new today. Knock, knock. Who's there? Owls. Owls, who? Yes, they do. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. I haven't heard that one yet. Thanks, T-Rex. Thanks for teaching us something. Thanks for educating us. There we go. We are at level 26. Excuse me, mister. Let me progress a little bit through the settlement here. Check the crates for more rice. I mean, that's it. We don't have any more rice. We've done everything there is to do. There is nothing we can do here anymore. Also, here's a another suggestion for the developers because they obviously care about my suggestions. They're watching these live streams with notepads and everything. When you add seasonal items, like for example, those uh, whatever seeds, whatever other items that expire, put them to the top. Because let's say if I have any Kamquats here at the bottom, chances are I'm not going to find them. And not only on this account, even my free-to-play account has 60 items in the inbox. Now with these seasons, like a lot of you have pretty big inboxes, right? And if they put those Kamquats and other things at the very bottom, it'll be hard to see them. For example, if you get a Kamquat here and then you get something else from the season pass, it'll keep going lower and lower. So they should stay at the top. That's just my five cents. In any case, who cares? It's not like it's a big problem. It's not like Last Dinner doesn't have any other problems. And that's the only thing we got here. Last Dinner is perfect. It's like, what did the Scarecrow win the award? Because he was outstanding in the field. Buggers. Absolutely buggers. So yeah, once again, T-Rex, thanks for the epic uh, super chats. Thanks for the epic knock-knock jokes. Do we have another crate to open? Somebody mentioned a crate. Oh, no, we don't have any more crates to open here. What we have here, though, is buckling up. Yo, Rude Boy, welcome to the stream. Glad to see you here. Hopefully everything is all right. You're just in time for the buckling up. Raid? We're not going to raid. The boys got to cook eggs. We got eggs to cook. Okay, got one of the random meals real quick for before we end the stream. This is not even like a meal. It was like a mini snack from like from a while ago. Will it focus? It should focus. There we go. It focused. See? There are eggs. It's like 
they're over fried maybe a little bit over fried eggs we have some pineapples and then we have two sandwiches that's about it that was just a tiny snack there we go there's for the devs watching knock knock says t-rex yo t-rex thanks for the super chats I could say the same about this live stream. What's what about this live stream? That it's amazing? I do believe that it's amazing. Just as the food is amazing. Yeah, I don't have any more food pictures. I have nothing interesting on the phone. I don't take a lot of food pic pictures. Probably more than an average person. It was more of a snack. Or maybe I just showed up late. Okay, so our live stream was more of a uh, more of a snack. Donation for abrupt ending. Guys! <coughs> <coughs> we are ending the live stream when you're sending donations. Super chats. Well, we'll have to stay here. We'll have to chat for the abrupt ending. Maybe I can find uh, another picture. More egg pictures, perhaps. T-Rex, they aren't responding. Guess no one's there. So T-Rex said that uh, Knock knock. I said who's there and developers aren't responding. So guess no one's there. I get it T-Rex. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for supporting the channel and Jayla S Thanks for the super chat for the abrupt ending Yes Okay, so I don't think I've shown I mean most of my foods are the same if I show some of the pictures, there's nothing really new that you haven't seen like, this is quite... Uh, a regular meal. Is that Jayla? And T-Rex? Thank you, thank you. So yeah, this is quite a regular meal that I'll have. This is uh, oats. So, aka porridge with some veggies on the side. And uh, there on the side, there were some, let's say, burgers, right? I often don't eat beef, maybe once a week, maybe once every two weeks. But most of the time, instead of beef, I'll have just chicken. I like chicken, not the biggest fan of beef. There you go, like here again, there's another picture of the food. Uh, more porridge with the with the chicken on the side. Psych, like, where are the veggies? I don't know, either the there, there were no veggies that day. Maybe there were Donations veggies for the, the evening. <laughs> Jayla, Jayla, thanks for the super chat and T-Rex, thanks for being care. Thank you, thank you, burger. I mean, that's what people call them, smash burgers or whatever, just meat. For me, it's just fried beef, fried ground beef. But some people said that those are called burgers. So now I had to call them burgers. Now I call them burgers and people said, Ha ha ha! Well, that's what people called that meat. What kind of burger is that? You see, that's what I'm talking about. The first time I said that it's a, that it's a goddamn ground beef, people said that Syrik, those are burgers. Ha ha ha! And now when I call them burgers, people are like, Syrik, what burgers are you talking about? See, people will always make fun of me, no matter how I call them. It's just beef, ground beef, fried ground beef. Uh, what if I call smash? Burger. Just like a burger patty. Smash burger patty. But smash burger is a smash burger. It's a full thing. That's what I'm talking about. A burger is a full thing. Burnt burger. Except people say burnt burger. I like my food maybe slightly charred. Alright? But it's not a burnt burger. By no means. There we go. The other day. Yo, Rudy Alejos. So if we keep donating, you won't end the stream. Well, why didn't you say so, cowboy hat? Baby shark? Do, 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 da, do. I was like, wait, what is that? Uh, thanks, Rudy Alejos. <laughs> thanks. thanks for the super chat. I guess we're going. So we got the... He's about to accidentally push the stop recording button. Yeah, yeah, accidentally. And then I'll type in the chat. Sorry, guys. Something happened. Electricity went off. Guys, I wouldn't do that. So yeah, the other whatever other meal that I like to have is the rice, right? 
with some veggies. Obviously, those are like frozen veggies, just fried, right? You have the rice, you add some Maggi sauce to the rice, and you add the fried veggies, and you mix that with the so rice. So if we keep donating, you won't end the stream? Well, why didn't you say so? Baby What's shark, it? dude, you do do da do. Brian definitely said it better than me. Thanks, uh, Rudy. Thanks for the super chat. So yeah, those were the things. And obviously on the side, it's like, sorry, where's the protein? The protein is always there on the side. There's the protein. That day I felt fancy. So just some chicken and some eggs. That's about it. Uh, what else I haven't shown you yet? I don't think I got any other special foods. You've actually seen like 90% of the foods that I eat then. That burger is a burn victim. Dude, that's not a burn victim burger. It's just, I like my food chart. Slightly charred. Like, look at these chicken breasts, right? It's like they're burnt. First of all, they're not really burnt. They're just a little bit slightly, maybe kind of charred and whatever. They're fine. That's fine. Uh, do I have any other pictures of something? I don't think so. I think you've seen literally everything. We need videos, not pictures. Here, there's the whatever from whatever other week. Some more rice. I said I don't take a lot of food pictures. I'm just showing a lot of them. There's rice with those uh, beef patties, right? And they're not burnt. They look kind of burnt because they're not burnt. How is this burnt? It's just the top thing. That's what they're supposed to look like. They're not burnt. Stop it. First, even abrupt interrupt, says Matthew Spellman. Thanks for the super chat. Thanks for the abrupt interrupt. No abrupt endings today. There are no abrupt endings today. Thanks, Juana. <laughs> Thanks, Juana. Thanks, Matthew. I guess we'll have to keep going. What other pictures do I have on the phone? What else? What other interesting things I can show here? Have you ever tried Indian food? I don't know what's Indian food. It was always... Maybe there are like some Indian spices or whatever. But every time people say, have you tried this and that country's food? It's the same food. Kinda, maybe. First ever abrupt interrupt. But I'm pretty sure it's not the same food. So no, I'm not that sophisticated. I haven't tried Indian food. I haven't tried anything else. Cat pics. I do not have cat pictures. So thank you, Matthew. Thanks, Matthew, for the not interrupted ending. Uh... Okay, this is the... Sometimes an evening meal. It depends. The quinoa. That's quinoa on the side. And uh, some rice omelet with sausages and whatever. It's like, is it burnt? No, it's not burnt. It's just shadow, right? And sausage. Maybe it is a little bit. It's not burnt. Just fried and quinoa. That's it. That's the food. And why not? Thanks for the super chat. Thank you. Thank you. You showed us this yesterday. No, I didn't. That was a different one. I have more pictures of my omelets. There's no way I've shown that yesterday because I didn't scroll that far. There's another dish with the omelet and sausages. I have omelet quite often daily. There we go, another omelet. And with pineapple on the side. That's more of a snack. Kind of like an evening snack, evening first meal. I'm not eating pineapple anymore though. The canned pineapple. Because I got scammed. I bought four, five cans and they were spoiled for some reason. Pineapple with eggs. I mean, I eat eggs and then I eat pineapples. It's like a dessert. Look like poor man's food. It's not poor man's food. Stop dissing the food. It's amazing food and I love the food. Also... I don't think I got anything else. I mean, poor man's food. Eggs, poor man's food. Since when? Yo, T-Rex, your meals are on fire. Lower the heat. Kidding, says T-Rex. What do you mean kidding? The meals are, the meals are garbage? <laughs> Thanks, T-Rex. <laughs> Thank you. Said apple, not pineapple. I eat apple daily as well. I've been eating an apple a day for the past like month, probably two months. Nothing has really changed. An apple a day keeps doctors away. But I haven't felt any difference. But I do like apples. Apples are poggers. 
Sag's own chat is making Sag sad. Nah, guys, you're fine. You're not making me sad. That's all right. Uh, I don't think I got any more food pictures. I think you've literally seen everything. This is a little bit sadder omelet from December 26th, apparently. Thanks, T-Rex. For the fire meals that are not actually on fire. As you said, so this is a little bit sadder omelet. Still five eggs, but this time I didn't have any sausages, so it was just like that. I mean, that's not really an omelet. That's uh, just scrambled eggs, kind of. Except, as I said, I don't really like them runny. And uh, on that note, we have officially run out of food pictures. Yeah, I'm officially out of food pics. Scrolled all the way to 2022. Okay, that's from April, actually, 21st. Bugger his pizza. Haven't had pizza in months. But there we go, pizza picture. Not homemade, obviously. Will it focus? Yes, it did focus. This is not poor man's food. This is pizza. Pizza was epic. Do I miss, miss pizzas? They're fine. But I do like my own food. Not gonna lie. Sometimes my own food is better than pizzas. Depends how they make it. And this is the last probably food picture that I got from 2023 March 7th. So it's like almost a year ago. It's, uh, well, there we go. It's, uh, the last food pig that I'm showing is the chicken on the side there. The chicken with in little pieces. Then we have, here, where's the thumb, right? In the thumb, there is the goat cheese. Then above the thing, there is some brie. And there is, like, carrot salad and the beetroot salad. Obviously, the carrot salad and the beetroot salad is not homemade. It was just bought at the store. It's like they, they have like a little bit of some sauce or whatever in them. And that's pasta. I haven't even mentioned the most important thing. That was pasta with some, with a drizzle of Maggie sauce. That's about it. Ladies and gentlemen, I think I've shared literally all the foods that I eat. I don't think... That's it, you've seen everything right now. So if I tell you what I eat, you've seen everything. It's one of those things that I've just shown here. Yeah, I don't think I got anything else. Sire Creations from 2020 to August or whatever. When I tried to do a homemade pizza. The charred sides were a bit too charred, so I had to cut them away. But other than that, the pizza was fine. So there's that. Angela has $2 for food. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for feeding me. Thanks for the super chat, Jayla. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I scrolled all the way now almost to 2021. Yeah, apparently around 2020, when I was also making pizzas, there's another pizza. That's it. Yep, there's nothing left. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, on that note, we will be buckling, rub, uh, buckling up. That pizza looks like a big egg without that crust, to be honest. That's what's up. I like eggs. Even my pizzas must look like eggs. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, you've seen everything. I don't think there's anything else I have to show from my life. 
You've seen everything there is to see. Thanks for being here. Have an amazing day. Thanks, Jayla, for the super chat. Thank you guys for being here. What's your favorite food? I like chicken drumsticks with rice. That's going to be my favorite food, probably. So, guys, thanks for everything. Thanks for all the super chats. Thanks for being here. See you tomorrow with either another video or another live stream. Probably will be another live stream. That was Poggers, the chat. Uh, chat with the chat. Crustless pizza. I mean, that I, I burned the crust. That was homemade dough, and I kind of messed up the dough. The crust got too hard. How do you charge your phone in the box? You know too much. You're asking too many questions. Take us through your fridge. I mean, I wouldn't show my fridge right now. I mean, maybe one day I'll take a picture of the fridge and maybe during the next live stream, I'll show you the picture of the fridge. But there's nothing interesting in the fridge. At the beginning of the week, I usually restock it and at the end of the week, it's empty. That's about it. Shows the first picture on your phone. It's as if I'm going to be even honest. You, you don't need to see my first picture on the phone. Have you seen latest Drake's video? Also, I have three... Dagos. They're like chinchillas, but they're a little bit smaller. They are... Wait, why can't I hold it properly? There we go. They're here. There's one more, but it's not in the picture. The the third one is uh, a bit different color. She's white. But that's it. You've literally seen everything. All of the parts of my life. There's nothing else to show for me. So... Thanks for being here. See you tomorrow. Sorry, lore dropping. Yes, indeed. They are your pets. They live in the box still. They have a separate one. No, they live in an apartment. The... My tenant? No. Tenants. I am a tenant. My landlord didn't kick out the pets. I'm, I'm the only one that lives in a box. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, peace out. And see you later, alligator. So you live in a box? I do live in a box. The Karen, peace out. There's nothing else I can show. There's nothing else I can say. Thanks guys for all the support. And peace out. See you tomorrow, everybody. Hopefully that wasn't an abrupt ending. Thanks for everything. And take care, homies.